Hey, what's up, everybody? You see that piece of wood I just circled? Well, that piece of wood is dry rotted. Today, I'm going to show you how I replaced that piece of wood. This video is not about building a deck, but I want to help you to be confident enough to make those minor deck repairs on your own. So I've located the area I want to work with. And I'll, first thing I want to do is remove the screws. Now that the screws are removed, I'll use my reciprocating saw to cut the piece of wood I'm trying to replace. So now that my board is cut, some of the screws are removed. I couldn't get all the screws out, but that's okay. We'll get to that later. I used the pry bar. I chipped the piece of the front of the deck, but I'll show you how I fixed that later on. Now, all I want to do is remove all that bad wood. I just tear it up the best you can. Use your hand, use whatever tools you have. And those screws and nails that didn't want to come out, well, I just used some vice grips to finish the job. Again, guys, these tools are inexpensive, and I'm pretty sure most of you have a lot of these tools just laying around your house. So now that I got the new board in place, I want to line it up from the corner of that porch right up to where I cut at. Therefore, I can make my mark, which I'm doing. You can barely see me, but I'm making a mark. Therefore, I can get the perfect cut. Hey, listen, guys, although you don't see me doing it in this video, I want to emphasize on safety. Use gloves, glasses, you know, keep yourself safe. That's the most important thing when working on any project. Now that I got my cut, it sits in place perfectly. So I got the, the, the board in place and I noticed that banister is a little wobbly. So what I did was got a GA2 angle, which I got from the Home Depot. Most of these tools come from the Home Depot anyway, but I got that GA2 angle, put it on a board, and I pulled the uh, banister towards me just to put a little pressure on it, and then I put the rest of the screws in it. I did that for each one of my posts. Hey, here's a tip. If you don't have anyone to help you hold the 2x4 up when you're building your new banister, take a, a little piece of the 2x4 that you've cut and, and nail it into the post. Drill it into the post. Line it up with the other rails. And now you can sit it up there and work comfortably. Hey, here's another tip. You want to get the perfect space in between each slat? Use a piece of 2x4 and put it in there as your as a separator. Also, what I didn't show you on this video, I also used a level, uh, uh, a level just to make sure each one of those slats are straight. So I've completed the deck. It rained on me, but still. Hey guys, remember that gouge I showed you earlier that I did with the pry bar? Well, the way I fixed it, I took the piece that broke out and got some Gorilla Glue and put it up there and let it sit. It had to cure for about 24 hours. After that set and it was real tight, I went on and stained the deck. 
Listen, I hope this video helped you to get out there and make those deck repairs. Don't be afraid. It's pretty inexpensive. And hey, like, share. Let's talk about it in the comments.